Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis Prokopiou and you are watching C Sharp for JavaScript Developers Caring and Function Composition in C Sharp. Today we will look into this, uh, into this area that uh, these two languages are alike as you can as you know in Java, in javascript you can use caring and function composition and the same you can do in c sharp and we will see today how we can achieve that so let's get into the video right away let's close this we don't want this and let's come here and let's first of all remind ourselves uh, how this is performed in JavaScript. So let's say that we want to have a generic function that uh, it will uh, test if a number is greater than another, um, another number. So we can say that we want a greater than function. So this will be a function which will accept a threshold let's say threshold and this will return a new function which new function will uh, accept a number as a parameter so we will say number and it will return in itself return that the number that we passed is greater than the threshold for example so this is a generic function that we can use to test our uh, numbers so we can use it like this we can say for example console uh, log what do we want to console log? We want to console log that greater our threshold will be 10 for example and we want what we want to test is 9 and again we can do the same let's say with 11 now let me zoom in if we go to our terminal here and we can run our application you will see that we got we get false and true and it did the first one should be false because 9 is not greater than 10 and the second should be true because 11 is of course greater than uh, 10 but what we can do here as you can see this is a, a carried function it accepts an argument and it returns another function that it also accepts a number we can create uh, more specific uh, methods or functions based on this one generic function. So, for example, we can uh, encapsulate this functionality in another function which we will call greater than 10, for example, and this will be equal to greater than 10, of course. So this one now is a function that uh, it is ready to be executed with the second argument and it is based on the first function. So what we can say now is that we can use the greater than 10 function now and only pass the second argument. And we will also add something like a header here in order to be able to tell the difference. Let's use this one and let's go and run this program. As you can see, we have exactly the same result the false, false, true, true. And this is how we achieved the function composition. We had the initial function, the greater than function, which 
as we said, accepts a threshold and returns another function that expects the actual number. So we are able, based on this uh, initial function, to create more specific functions. For example, if we wanted to create a greater than 20, sorry, than 20 function, it would be as easy as doing this greater than 20 we would say greater than 20 and then of course we could use it like this we could say console log greater than 20 and if we pass for example let's do it with 19 and let's do it also with 21 and let's go and run this program as you can see this is the initial function this is the greater than 10 function and this is the greater than 20 function and everything works ex as expected so i repeat this is how we can use caring and function composition in javascript okay so now let's flip to jetbrains rider and try to implement the same thing in uh, c sharp so what we have to do is create uh, this generic function again that we will call greater than so let's go uh, to create it let's say f uh, in the beginning that this will be a bool but of course it will not be a bool we will refactor this but let's start by declaring that this function will be a bool and we say that this will be called greater than it will be our generic function it will accept our threshold and it will return a new function uh, which will accept the number and that function will return uh, what will return it will return that our number is greater than the threshold this is our function of course let me fix the typos here greater than as you can see we have miss uh, uh, we have a, a mismatch of types and we have the intelligence that it says that we must change the type and of course we do change the type and now our type our correct type is of type func which accepts an int an integer here and returns boolean so our generic greater than function returns another function which accepts an integer and returns boolean this is the signature that we want so this is our generic function what we can do just like in javascript we can use it and we can console write line and what we can write is greater than we will provide the threshold and we will say that we want to check if 9 is greater than uh, 10 we will use this let me zoom in first of all we will use this and then we will check with 11 just like we did in javascript so let's build this program we will run it from our terminal 2 let's see the program here and let's go to our terminal here and try to run it let's say dot dot net bin debug up dot dll and as you can see we have false and true this is false 9 is not greater than 10 and this is true 11 is greater than 10 so we got the first part right here 
The next part is to create the composed function which we will call var greater than 10 greater than 10 and this will be equal to the greater function and the threshold. So we have a greater than 10 function. Let's check the intelligence. Let's rename as it says. And what else? Uh, nothing else. Okay. We can change the type here. This uh, type <coughs> is of func int and bool because we know this is what the greater than returns. So we have this greater than 10 and we can use it just like the other one in JavaScript. We can say that we want to use the greater than 10 and provide 9 as a number and we want also to run it with 11. So let's see the results for this execution. Let's build it. OK, we build it. Let's run it. And as you can see, we have exactly the same result. False, false, true, true, which is what we expected. In the same manner, just like in JavaScript, we can continue and create another specific function, which we will call greater than 20. And we will provide 20 as the threshold. So we can very easily do the same here and say that we want to use the greater than 20 than 20 and we will provide 19 here and here we will provide 21. Let's build. And let's run it. And as you can see correctly for the greater than 20 function we have false for the 19 value and we have true for the 21 value. So as you can see this is another uh, area where the um, implementation and the concepts are very similar between JavaScript and uh, C Sharp. So if you come from a JavaScript background you can easily switch uh, or jump to C Sharp and start uh, writing similar code. I hope that you find this useful, uh, informative and useful. This is all the info that I wanted to share with you in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content of this channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.